Hello and welcome to North 100 Showdown, a Canadian Highlander Throwdown. My name is Wheeler, and joining me today, I've got a Surge. Hi. And a Ben on Tech. Hi. And I've got you. Hi. Sir. And I've got you. Hi. Sir. And I've got you. Hi. And I've got you. Did you even say anything that time? No, no. You just missed oh, it, buddy. I heard echoes of it. No, I. Oh, I'm losing it. <laughs> and I've got you. Hi. So I'm trying to get people to give us money. Cards on the table. I'm it's trying. Been a, it's been a long recording. Day. I'm trying to get people to give us money. Over at patreon.com slash loading ready run. It's because of all that that we we can even do this. And you're stuck here going, hi. What? Hi. Oh, okay. And if you want more information on the format and what we're playing today, you can check the description down below. Hi. hi. <laughs> uh, I am playing Mardu Initiative. Sick. It's got every initiative creature, well, most of them, in Mardu. Um, it's also kind of like a blink deck. It's attrition -y. It's a good deck. It's a pretty strong deck. I played it at uh, the... I've only played a couple of events at Yellow Jacket this year, and one of them was with this deck. And I think it's my only win this year. Oh, God, I mean, that's you depressing. didn't win, though. I mean, that's sick. Yeah, but at what cost? What are your points? Mox, 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 Mana Vault. Oh, wait, Vault is only one? Yeah, we're going wow. fast. We're going wow. fast. What are you playing? I'm on Naya midrange. Mm -hmm. This is a, I want to say like a very traditional midrange aggressive deck that wants to play all of the elves, all the fast mana, and okay. get to like three and four mana as quickly as possible. Okay. So it's just like threat, 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 threat. Threat. Everybody. Yeah. Threat. Threat. Yeah. Threat. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a clean audio take of that for the for the you know the musicians out there. Mm -hmm. My points, mox, 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 and that's it. Great. Yeah. And if you want us to see us uh, play decks with less mox and start liking combo, oh. I winked, but they can't see it. Is there a complaint about too many mox in? Uh, people are like the initiative. Be like whatever. Uh, people complain all the time. That's fair. That's fair. There's too many mox in. I've never played this format. <laughs> Where's my mom? You know, classic mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, who won the die roll? You. Surge did. Surge won the die roll. Yeah. It's time for everything. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that's sincere. We're going to go uh, Wooded Foothills into a Greeny Whitey, which is also known as a Savannah, uh -huh. into a Noble Hierarch, 19 life, past the turn. That's pretty good. I'm going to play a Badlands. And I'm going to thought seize you. Yeah, that's bad. No, All right. that's what it is. Land, Elf, uh, Voice, E-Witness, Minsk, and Boo. Oh, I... Well, this <laughs> is bad either way. What are you talking about? Well, I don't like losing cards. Uh, I just need to make sure... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I haven't accidentally, like, put another card in while I was shuffling. Okay, so if I take Minsk and Boo, you just play Eternal Witness and On get it curve back. and get it back. On curve. Yeah. If I take... Eternal Witness, then you just play Minsk and Boo. Um, and then and your play is just Voice? Yeah. Or play a Mana Dork? You don't have another land. No, I am I am sure. Well, I have the Mountain, yeah. but I have another Green Source, so I can't double spell. Uh, I guess if I take Minsk and Boo, it forces you to Eternal Witness, and then if I draw a way to remove your Noble, then you are further away from doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually worth like two lands or something like that. So I think I'm taking... I think I'm taking Minsk and Boo here. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass. And the turns are going to work out probably as you thought, unless I draw something kind of cracked. Oh. No, I, just, I just did that. Just oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, eat Witness. <clears throat> return Minsk and Boo. Yeah. Go. Yikes. Would have liked to have that a turn earlier. I don't think playing that right now does anything. I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. And I am going to... 
pass the turn. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So you're very lucky. I missed the land drop. Yeah! I missed the land drop. <sighs> it's quite unfortunate. Um, attack you for three with the exalted trigger. Sorry. No, no, no. That's fair. It's a big deal. No, it is a very big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm supposed to play with voice resurgence here and just hope to rip the land, or if I'm supposed to play the elf. I think the answer is actually elf. Yeah, what does voice do in this game, right? Well, it... Yeah, that's fair. Go. Uh, Missing that land is so big for you. Yeah, it's pretty Like, huge. wow. <laughs> I am either getting myself a sacred foundry, or I'm getting myself a Savai Triome. I think given my hand, I'm going for a sacred foundry. Because my man is okay, and so I don't need to, unless there's a sacred foundry in my hand. No. Uh, my man is okay, so I don't necessarily need to get the triome, and in fact, keeping the triome in my deck means that if I draw it later on, I can, can cycle. cycle it. Yeah. The more you know. Bom, 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 bom. So let's eat beans for every meal. Oh, there it is. It was right at the beginning. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hey, at least Minskin Boo isn't on the battlefield right now. True. It could be worse. That's true. This elf could be a Minskin Boo. Yeah. And th these two things are not the same. I'll give you a cut here. Thank you. Yeah. There you are, bud. Untap. Draw. That's a land. Uh, Urza Saga. That's a good one. Mox Jet. That's another good one. Caves of Chaos Adventure. And now we're in the initiative? We're in the initiative. I mean, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you got a Minskin Boo. Sh maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. I got a Minskin Boo. Uh, okay. I'm going to find myself a basic swamp. Mm. Then I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw for the turn. Yep. Awkward. Still not a land. If you had had, like, a Pyroclasm or anything, this game this game is very different. Yeah. Uh, Minskin Boo. Yeah. Um, my hamster. Where is my hamster? There is my hamster. This just goes to three. Now, I'm borrowing this Minskin Boo from Wheeler, uh, which <laughs> means it's in German. <laughs> hey, 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 it's German foil. And I, oh, pardon me, pardon me. me. And I've cast this card exactly one time. Uh, so the first one is put three plus one plus one counters. Well, oh, when it comes into play, make a, a boo trigger. Yep. And then what's the, rest of the, the first ability says? It's like if you never have a boo, do you always get a boo? Or if you uh, deal with it, it's gone? ETB and upkeep, you make a boo. Okay, that's what I thought. Go and, for the eyes boo. Yeah, and then... Uh, plus yeah. one, put three plus one plus one counters on target creature with haste or trample. Yep. Uh, and then what's the minus two? Uh, sack a creature... If, I mean, it, oh, sorry, right, the eyes. Uh, sack a creature, when you do it... Bec uh, when it... Sorry, sack a creature. When you do, it deals X damage to tar any target where X is the sack creature's power. And if it's a hamster, you draw that many cards. Sick. Yeah, it's real gross. All right, um, we're going to put a plus one here to put three plus one plus one counters on Boo. Uh-huh. And then I want that initiative, brah. I'm coming at you with a 4-4 four, four Trample Haste and a 2-1 E-Witness. Actually, I could just attack you. Well, that has Trample, so there's no reason to hold it back. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm supposed to hit you with both, because it doesn't really matter. And then you can... Well, you get this for free, but then I get in for four. It's fine. Uh, I'm blocking here. Yeah. And taking four. You go down to ten. Uh, the initiative is now mine. So we should both be at level one initiative there. Yeah. And I'm going to find a basic mountain. No, I can't. I only have one in the deck. I'm going to find a basic forest. Yeah. You've only got one of each basic in this list. Mm. Yeah, this one, despite it being a three-color deck, has tons of basics. There's an interesting thing, too, um, which is you can either clear my Minskin Boo or take the initiative. The way the board stands right now, you can't do both. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Big fan. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> do you have how many cards in hand? Uh, many. Voice of Resurgence one, is two, one of One, two, three, them. four. Yeah, you only yeah. know voice. I've got five cards in hand. Okay, voice and land is what I know. Yeah, you know voice and you know basic forest. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, it's 
not bad, but I don't... I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, so I have to do that. Go to play a swamp. That has trample. God, I hate that card. Minsk and Boo? I want to go on record that I, I was the one that brought this up to be pointed in the council. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You're just like, it's too oppressive? Uh, we don't Counter have time. Play? We don't sure, have sure, time. Sure. That's fair, that's Admittedly, fair. I did vote to keep it at zero, but um, <laughs> I brought it up and... Uh, okay. Yeah. You're like, hey, let's talk about this. Yeah. Because this fair. card's a pisser. I'm going to cast this Dread Boar. Ooh. I think I have to Dread Boar your Ooh. Boo. Ooh. And then attack this. Yeah, fully clear everything. Yeah, I think... That's spicy. I like that. Because you play that. I think that's what I do. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah. Minsk and Boo is dead. Boo is dead. And I'm going to pass the turn after that. Um, what, what's the line? Um, bury me with my hamster is what Boo would say right there. Minsk would say it when he died. Is that the line? No? Bury me with my hamster. Yeah, wasn't that one of the voice lines from Baldur's Gate? But I am a magic player. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. Touche. That is patently Touché. not true. All right. So um, the initiative is going to trigger before my draw step. Yeah. So I'm actually going to scry two. Okay. So you go to the lost wall. Yeah. So let's scry here. I just need to show the camera something. So this is my hand right now. And this is the top two cards. What's a guy going to do to get some land? Oh, this feels so nice. Uh, we have been in the studio for what feels like 12 hours, so yeah. I'll um, take this darkness. I'm going to leave one on the top and one on the bottom. Yeah. And then I'm going to draw this card. And then I'm going to play the basic forest that you know about. Yeah. Uh, and you know, the initiative's fun. Let's also introduce the monarchy. Uh, I'd like to get rid of your friend. Yeah. Yoink. Uh, and then I'd like to attack you for two with the Exalted Trigger here. I take two. You go down to eight. Pass, draw off the Monarch. I'm going to activate the Sirsa Saga. Okay. Okay. Let's draw removal. <laughs> uh, this is at two, not at one. I didn't tick it up. Well, if it's at two... It was at, I didn't tick it up from one to two. Sure, okay. So now this turn is going to three? Yes. Okay. Uh, because I played it, then played yep. the Caves of yep. Chaos. Uh, draw step. Oh, that's brutal. Uh, I'm going to activate my Saga. So this is in response to going up to three here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Another one. Saga goes away. Um... Am I just grabbing a mox? Makes them huge. It does. Man, you got a lot of cards in hand. I do. Uh, I'm gonna grab a mox here. Okay. And then I'm going to go to combat. Yep. And I'll attack yeah. for, yeah. So this still stays in exile. I'll put it under the monarch trigger. Yeah. Under the monarch token. And then I am going to play a land, uh, basic planes, and I'm going to pass. All right, untap, untap, upkeep. I'm going to make a treasure token yep. off of the initiative. It says Thopter. There we go. Treasure token. Uh, and draw for the turn. very quickly check my deck list. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. 
man. You have vigilance? You no. Have vigilance. No, I have vigilance, not you. You have. You have vigilance? Um, I'm reading questing beast. I just have to remember all the words it have it has on there. You have a questing beast in your hand? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I don't hate that line. And then I have three blockers. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, questing beast. I'm going to yeah. sack the treasure token here. Okay. And then I'm going to attack exalted trigger. It's a five yeah. five. Yeah. You got a three. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, pass. I'm going to draw off the initiative. Or pardon monarch. me, off the monarch. Yeah. Draw. Yep. <clears throat> Hmm. Play a mountain. Yeah. I'm going to play a passage waste. Ah, you're taking the initiative. Oh, like you can't take it through combat. You can take it through cards. Can do. Yep. All uh, right. So I'm going to take the initiative. Yep. I'm going to go to the forge and I'm going to put two counters on my passage. Ah. Here. Um, Very good. And then I am going to pass. Okay. Untap, untap, draw for the turn. Uh, I've got a blood stained mire. Mm -hmm. You should uh, get that cleaned. Oh, that's fair. I'm going to try and cat. Oh, sorry. I had the initiative, so this should get a counter as well from its uh, end of turn trigger. Oh, okay. That's very important. Sure. Now it's a 5 5 lifelinker. Yeah. You have three <clears throat> cards in hand. Yes. You're at three. Yes. One for each card in hand. I have a play one I really want to go for. Mm -hmm. um, if you muck me, it feels really bad, though. I'm just going to go for it. Um, I'm going to try casting Aomer here. And if you don't have a removal spell for the human, it's exactly three, which is lethal. So I could go search for the land here, but otherwise I'd like to kill you. No, okay. I've drawn I've Ooh. drawn lands. I drew the dread right. boar, but other than the dread boar, yeah. I've drawn uh, quite a few lands. So people that don't understand, who don't know the card, because it is fairly new, uh, when enters play, it enters with plus one, plus one counters equal to other humans you control. So Noble Hierarch and enters as a three, three, and then it can deal damage equal to its power to any target. And I choose Wheeler. Woohoohoo! <sighs> We got ourselves a game one. Minsk and Boo, huh? Minsk and Boo. Um, yeah, I think I'm in that. I mean, the Palace Jailer is rough. I was sitting on that Undying Malice, the like rebuy my. Uh, if a creature would die, it comes back to play. Okay. Except tapped. Sure. And so I was like, well, if my thing dies, my Caves of Chaos, I can at least like get some additional value out of that. But exiling it. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Needed a little juice. Dreadbore is not exactly a kind of card. It, I mean, it helps get rid of uh, half. I mean, taking skin. the whole turn, right? Like effectively fogging you with with the Minsk and the boost. Yeah. Is kind of wild. Yeah, that card exists. Yeah. I'm trying to think about like other interesting decision points in that game. Uh, it's like pretty risky. Like my mana is really tight. If you have any removal from my elves, my my hand is mono four drops. Yeah, usually which was powerful, but also very risky. This deck is effectively a series of ETB creatures, most of them with the initiative, and then removal. Yeah. Um, and so not hitting removal kind of just makes me a bit of a dorky, dorky deck. Where I'm sure. Just like playing these feeling four drops. very slow, and yeah, the creatures don't feel as impactful because yeah, the initiative is strong, but the creature themselves are are not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, friend. Ooh. Ah. I finally have a mock start, and I don't have a green mana, Ooh. so I have to mull. I am going to keep. On the draw, I have to mull. Do I have to mull? Yeah, my hand's terrible. <laughs> I really... Do I... Do I have to mull? Well, my hand's terrible. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I had elf, elf, no green source blocks. <laughs> the one ring comet. Ooh. Yeah. And then like some other stuff. So like the red white is fine, but I don't really have a way to get to four very quickly other than the moxin. 
Whereas if there's a green source of that, right? When I, when I think Naya, I think Boros splashing green. Yeah. No, I, I made the right call. Yeah, it, yeah. But, you know, you see the One Ring and you think to yourself, you're only, you're only two mana away. It is so tempting. Yeah. After, after all, why shouldn't I keep this out? You're good. So I got the One Ring and no green source again. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. And the elf. Ooh. Oh. No. We'll you know what the, you know what the problem was? What? Casting Wolf Run. Yeah, that one's a in, that's a that's definitely a Noel special. That's a Noel Robin inclusion right there. That card that is, is uh arguably underplayed in two color decks. <laughs> but a three color deck it might be a bit of a strike. Yeah, and I was just saying, man, there's a lot of colorless lands in this deck already. Yeah, Ancient Tomb, Wasteland, Waste, Urza Saga, Casting Wolf Run. Yeah, they add only, up. Only one of each basic. And this is playing, I think it's 36 lands mm -hmm. with all the elves and triple mox in. Or maybe 36 is a bit high. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. It's uh, it's not a lot. I could tell you. Yeah. You're shuffling. Yeah, please. Well, I'm only down to five here because I don't have any green sources in my base green Naya deck. Hey, what do we got here? Yeah. You have triple mocks, yeah. a whole bunch of dorks. Yeah. And 33 lands. 33? That's not. Uh, eh, it's a little too low for my liking. Yeah. Hey, there's the wolf run again. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> uh huh. Well, this one's going on the bottom. Do I put the wolf run on the bottom? <laughs> I need the lands. No, I really don't. I don't need that. I mean, land. if you have a land dork, you're fine, right? I don't. But I got, I got an okay hand. Really need a white mana. All right. Okay. Just don't hand attack me, bro. Just don't hand attack me. I don't have hand attack. All right. <laughs> Scalding Tarn, go. Yeah. Uh, my hand got better. Misty. Yeah. Go. <clears throat> I'm going to fetch. Uh, I will get some eye try on this time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I need new sleeves on these. so weird i've trained myself to do the when i'm shuffling you look like if you're shuffling you yeah look you don't away. you don't watch because right. then you don't get accused but, but of like if cheating. i turn my if i turn to look at you're like right in the way, light you're like, uh. like well i'm right in the light and i can still just see myself shuffling uh and if i turn this way it's really good tv <laughs> <laughs> and here we see the back of wheeler's head isn't it big <laughs> My God, that sure is a round head. It sure is. Yeah. My husband is making me a toque, and he came to me with like this, like that. He's like, "This is how big a large head is," and then <laughs> this, this is, is how, how big much... your head is. And, and it's this like is how much more wool I need. Yes. Yeah. yeah, delightful. It's so large. <laughs> um, swamp. I'm going to dash a Rogbon. Oh. Hit you. Uh, I'm going to respond. Yeah. 19. Uh, we can just both fetch at the same time. I'm going to get a Savannah and Path to Exile, your Ooh. monkey. Okay. I think that's better than getting monkeyed. Mm, look at uh, points. Both players shuffling at the same time. Ah, ding, ding, ding. Chivo! <laughs> I don't know why that was my achievement. Like, <laughs> husband's also been watching a lot of wrestling while telling me my head is big and fat. <laughs> just sitting there knitting and being like, God, your head is just God, so God, your head big. is so large. Anyways, watch this <laughs> teeth. <laughs> watch this RKO out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah you're fine. Oh, amazing stuff. Um, we're going to go and play um, this Wasteland mm -hmm. into a Charming Prince. Sure. Scry Scry. Yeah. I can just bottom both of these. 
<laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> Neat. What if I had no information? We're here to encourage you, bestie. So you're in Mardu. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got this. Uh, no, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Mock shit. Yeah. Seasoned engineer. Ooh. Introduce the initiative. Yeah. I'm going to go to the secret entrance. Do you need more basics? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab a basic planes. Okay. And I'm going to play it for the turn. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Sick. That's sick. He's got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Um, you have a Maya. Yep. Mox Emerald. <clears throat> yep. Um, I'm going to waste your Triumph. Sure. Uh, and then I'm going to Eldritch Evolution, my Charming Prince. Ooh. Okay. And find an answer. I mean... All right, one thought. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Ben? I'm good. Good. Definitely not playing Hearthstone back here. <laughs> well met. Ooh. King's honor, friend. All right, I think... I don't know if I'm looking for a... Um, my choices are Questing Beast or FTK, mm -hmm. which are both kind of spicy. Um, Questing Beast kills your Seasoned Dungeoneer. I keep a creature and you untap with it. FTK kills your, <laughs> your Seasoned Dungeoneer. Yep. I was also thinking of getting my own Seasoned Dungeoneer, but I had to read what it does, and the fact that it attacks and explores <laughs> is kind of tricky there. Yep. I think taking your creature off the board is more valuable... I think I think just killing it is good because Questing Beast, I get to attack I might potentially take the initiative if you don't block because yep. you can swing back with it afterwards or I block and I have a Questing Beast which is kind of cool but then I can always just rip it off the top I actually don't know what is supposed to be better there I can always just rip it off the top <laughs> just simply, well I can't cast FTK right now with my mana mm. whereas I can cast Questing Beast if I rip one more land Well, you don't have to cast the thing. You're, it's just coming right in. No, no, no. That's what I mean. I'm thinking uh, of like further lines because both both kind of deal with it immediately. I think I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to shoot it with FTK. You're going to shoot it with FTK. Yeah. No. No. Cloud shift. No. <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Use, I don't have the the cool like you have to shoot your own FTK or anything. Yeah. Uh, but I am going to uh, exile this. Uh, and then have it come back. Oh, this is bad for me. And you go another chapter down? Yeah. Oh, this is so I bad for me. I think I'm going to the Lost Well here. I mean, CZDZ kills you quickly, but I also, given my hand, I think I'm okay taking wow. this line. All right. Uh, so I go to the Lost Well, yep. and I get to scry too. This is terrible news. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sick. No, Cloud Shift. Beautiful. I'm going to keep both of those on top. Oh, I'm just going to yes. switch their order. Oh, yes. Yeah. Incredible. Go. We'll ask ourselves how much the uh, wasting the red source did for us. I like wasting the red source. I think I go for questing beast yeah. if you're doing this. Because questing beast either, like, you attack, I block, I lose a thing, I still have the initiative, but you have a thing on the board. Well, I mean, I, I kind of still have it at that point, but yes. And it's right. better than... I mean, I guess it depends yeah. on what you're playing around. Do I have swords or path? Do I have uh, yeah. flicker effects? That's sort of what I was thinking. Like, this does at least deal with it whereas yeah. I have to attack and you can always just not block I thought clearing the board is the best way yeah. I didn't play around exactly cloud shift I mean you're probably also playing I'm on ephemerate too you're also on ephemerate yeah, yeah. Um, I'm so gonna... you get to explore yeah so I'm going to reveal this blood crypt okay. uh, I get to draw this 
And you have how many cards in hand? I got five. I know one of them. And you take three. Well, I can block. Oh, sorry. I didn't uh, make a treasure off of the, the stash. Okay. Because I did this on end step. You can't block because that is protection from creatures. Are you familiar with the initiative? It's a mistake. It's one of the worst things they've done. Why is that, why is that protection from creatures? Uh, Whenever it attacks, protection from creatures <laughs> and explore? J. Oh, my God. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I take three. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 16. That's fine. Great. Uh, I'm going to play this blood grip. Yeah, love this for me. <laughs> and I'm going to unholy heat this right now. Two damage. Questing Beast wouldn't have died to unholy heat. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. Questing Beast, Beast wouldn't have died. If I get a red source off the top. Oh, that's so rude. Oh, that's so devastating. Ah, oh, you're fine. Go. Oh. Uh, make a skelly. <laughs> Oh, this is fine. Can I bring my good skelly? I, I believe. Do I have a skelly? It's a card. It's one I always forget, and it's also one that. Hey, Moxfield, if I can give one little suggestion, is that what, at the bottom of your deck lists, when you say like, here are the tokens your deck makes, it always includes the initiative, but it doesn't include the tokens generated Made by from the, the initiative. initiative. Yeah. Or at least no it skelly. does, and I ignored it. Yeah. So either. Maybe maybe look into that, or, hey, Ben, you're an idiot. One of the two. Yep. Um, oh, what did I do? You know what you did. <laughs> hey, Ben, why didn't you help out Wheeler here, man? No, he did. Look, Ben gave me oh, the skeleton tool. Okay, I take seven, potentially eight. Well, this has summoning sickness. Okay, and you just drew for the turn. Sulfur Springs. Yep. Uh, I guess I shouldn't play this. I should go to combat yep. first. Uh, trigger... It's a mana vault. Yep. So I'm going to put it in my graveyard. I go to 12. I'm going to play the Sulphur Springs. Yep. And I'm going to pass. Mountain off the top? Oh. Do <laughs> um, you want to just go to game three? I want to see what I hit off the... Sure, that's right. No, no, no. Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's let you live your dream here. Yeah. Go to you. Also, you're not dead dead. I mean... Go to the Throne of the Dead three. Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have three initiative creatures that I can put into play. Uh -huh. I'm going to go with the Life Linker. Sure. So it is a it comes into play with three one one counters, and it has uh, hexproof until my next turn, and I get to venture through the initiative. So I go back to the secret entrance. So find uh, yourself another basic. I'll grab myself a basic mountain yep. here. Uh, uh. Draw for turn. Oh well. Combat? Um, explore? Explore. Ooh, it's a blood boil sorcery. Is it, it do each? Oh, that doesn't no, count because it's, it's, it's just skeleton. Just the one. All right, so put a plus one plus one on it. Yep. Um, I take nine yep. and go to three. So I did actually draw chain lightning. <laughs> so I'll chain lightning you. So my hand, I was like, come on, red source. I had Ooh. the fleet foot dancer. Do you mind if I still have all these you? Oh, yeah, please. I have three answers to fleet amazing, foot dancer. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. And I'm like, give me a red source, bolt. <laughs> oh, oh. And then I drew a palace shaler with three okay, mana. Okay. So maybe the I mean I needed the red source. I didn't feel like the wasteland was really going to help. That's me that much why out. you didn't go for the jailer with the eldritch evolution. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I figured that was the case, but then I forgot about it because I was on the initiative. <laughs> well, goodbye. Okay. Game three. Yeah. You multi five that game. Too. I also multi five. Yeah. But also, your deck's sweet. So. Yeah, I think this deck's pretty good. I mean, the initiative, it's funny because people hate the initiative yeah. because it's new, but like the initiative <laughs> dot deck, and it is miserable. I mean, yeah. I hate it on the initiative too. It's. Uh, anyways, finish your point. If I snap my fingers to remove the initiative, I would. Um, but. And you have that power on the keg, you know. Uh, <laughs> the keg? <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Um, you know, right? But oddly enough, initiative decks like this, they're not the problem. I, no. don't, I don't hate this. No, 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 no. Yeah. Like, splashing for White Plume Adventure in every deck is like a little like, okay. Yeah, it's the fact that a deck like this can also just be like, oh, hey, here's a turn two White Plume. Yeah. Or here's a CCDZ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or... That's, that's a little bit worse. Yeah. yeah. Also because it's just so much more cracked than the other dungeons, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, nobody, All right, my friend. Nobody's playing Turbo Tomb of Annihilation. Well. Although... although You know what? I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Okay. 
I'll keep as well. Good luck okay. to you, friend. Good luck. We're going to play some classic magic here. Taiga into Bop. Wow. Okay. Bird of Paradise. That's pretty good. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to fetch a Scalding Tarn. Yeah. Grab a Bayou, and then I'm going to Thought Seize you. You can't Bayou. Or not a Bayou. Okay. Uh, what's the bad land? Mm. Well, this is some pretty old school magic here. The red black. Yes. All right. Well, for the Thought Seize, I got Land Land, Bolt, Goif, Glory Bringer. Huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to take... I think I have to take Tarmogoyf here. Yeah. Makes my hand a lot worse. Yes. A lot worse. But knowing you have Bolt also makes my hand a lot worse. Yep. Yeah. And that Glorybringer. Glorybringer's a real pisser. Well, we'll get there. Okay. My hand's so much worse now without that Goyf. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, that's a good draw. This guy. What do I... What do I get with it? Um, I got a green sun for two. Okay. So I'm going to fetch. Why am I playing a polluted delta? I'm a Naya deck. This is probably not supposed to be in my deck. <laughs> it finds a bayou. It finds hmm. bayou, but like this is probably not supposed to be in my Awkward. deck. Awkward. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm at 19 and it hits exactly one land. So it's not like it's dead. Uh, but it is awkward. And I have two hits here. I think I literally only have two two drops in my deck. Right. Oh, that's not true. Green creature. I have two hits in my deck. Uh, Voice of Resurgence and... Do you have like Sylvan Carry added, Paradise Druid, Outland Liberator? I was trying to think about that. I don't think there's an Outland, Outland Liberator. Casali Pride Mage. I, mean, I can hit most of the... Scavaging Ooze. Scava oh, the Scavaging Ooze. The Scavaging Ooze. Yeah, it's like either Scoozy or Voice of Resurgence are the two hits that I was thinking of. And I've gone through the deck. And I mean, obviously I, I can go for less if I wanted just another elf. But I got mm -hmm. the mana. A little Scoozy there. Wait, I do have. I technically have a third hit, but it doesn't do anything. Um, oh. I think I think Scoozy's more exciting. You want to get a Moloch? I was thinking a Moloch. Uh, is Scoozy better here? Like, do you care about your graveyard? Yeah, you do a little. You do a little. Card lets you use your mana too. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Yeah, tax your graveyard a little. Yeah. I don't know how relevant it is, but it, it'll do something. It'll show up. Go ahead. I can eat my own goy. Hit you for three. Ooh. <laughs> I, I can kick your ass. I yeah, can kick my I can own. Kick ass. my own graveyard's ass, Wheeler. Mm. <clears throat> Marsh Flats and Pass. Interesting. Would you like to cut? I'm sorry. Uh, stomping Ground. Minskin Boo. I'm going to respond. All right, Minskin Boo on the stack. Trigger on the stack. Yeah. I'm going to Fateful Absence your Minskin Boo. I got a Boo. I got a 4 mana 1 1 Trample Haste. <laughs> Well, you get a clue. And, and I get a clue token. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, he says. No, you're not. A little sorry. A little sorry. A little sorry. Uh, I will hit you for three, though. Uh, yeah. I will take three. Thirteen. You're good. Say go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Go. Glorious. Mm hmm. I got a glory bringer. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to move to attacks. I'm going to terminate your glory bringer. I want to be. Three. Thirty. Go. Or thirty. Ten. <laughs> I know what you meant. Commander Brain. Yeah. Ooh. Well, this isn't good for me, but it's kind of funny. I'm going to fetch. I'm going to find a Triome. And then I'm going to cast a new card. Molten oh, Collapse. Yeah. yeah. So it's from uh, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Choose one, and if I descended this turn, which is if I uh, permanent was put in my graveyard from anywhere, which I just fetched a land, uh, I get to destroy a target creature or planeswalker and target non creature, non land permanent with mana value one or less. I'm going to kill your Scoos and your Clue token. Oh, you don't get to hit the Boo. No. 
My, my clue token. My boo. My boo uh, is fine. Go ahead. What I? You did? Did you exile this? No, it's in the graveyard, right? No. It's yeah. It's just in the graveyard. Yeah. My clue. My clue. Man, boo is um the boo beats. I'm glad I didn't fetch. I was admittedly not fetching so that I had one extra land in my mm. deck to try and draw a little land. Nine. <laughs> Hit you for one. I got an eight. You're fine. Um, elf? Yeah. <laughs> Go. I mean, I know you have the bolt, but I'll make you play it. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Mm. Uh, go ahead. I've been holding onto this card for quite some time. Yeah, I mean, we'll clear it so I can yep. I can get in, right? Brick, brick, brick. Oh, that's such brick. a good draw. No, no! Five, six? I got green sun. Oh. I ripped the green sun. I redrew the green sun. Oh. So I, I believe the best hit I have is actually just a four, which is probably just Questing, Questing Beast. beast. Yeah. But just in case there's a five, I think my only five is actually... Aomer, which I can't hit. Do you want me to save you some time? Sure. So my hand right now is Seasoned Engineer, yep. Stirring Bard, Elish Norn Mother of Machines, and a Saw in Half. Mm. So if you get Questing Beast, yeah, which I think is likely. It's, prob it's probably just Questing Beast. It's like the only reason to do that. Yeah, so that hits you for five. You get one draw. It's another four draw. Thanks for the games. Hey, guess what? It's got to be somewhere. It's got to be <laughs> We want a game! Well, you want a match. And a match. That too. Well, we got there! <laughs> it doesn't happen all that often. No. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Maybe maybe it doesn't happen all that often because you celebrate every time you win one. Well, and... Look, look, in, in my defense, I don't know what order things are airing. Yeah, Treat but it, it may have been five in a row that I lost. Okay? <laughs> Treat it as though... When you win, it's yeah, another W for search. Yeah, act you know, like, big, big, like big, here. big dub. <laughs> I feel like I've ever won a game of Magic in my life. Yeah, yeah. According to the YouTube comments, I don't know if I've ever won a game of Magic in my oh, life. Interesting. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I, you know, I feel kind of bad for Surge, who literally never won a game. Well, look who's laughing now. Um, let's yeah. talk about let's talk about the the match here. We both were a little mana starved. Me in game two, you in game three. Yeah. Uh, game one was pretty interesting. Yes. I, uh, even with the most Minsk interesting. And Boo. Yeah, I mean, even with Minsk and Boo. Redrawing the Green Sun is incredibly lucky. It's pretty good. And one of the, I, honestly, one of my favorite moments in Candlelander when something like that happens, because it's so statistically unlikely, uh -huh. to Green Sun early, shuffle a couple of times since then, and then manage to redraw it is wild. Yeah. And uh, just having that selection of getting whatever you need like even if i manage to develop the initiative you can find the undermountain adventurer the, and yeah. then there's yeah oh, I, <laughs> what a we, what a toolbox this deck has you know? we both have mana acceleration yeah. you have more than i do but yes. your mana acceleration is a little vulnerable very vulnerable problem is i don't want to use my removal i mean i didn't even have it really for your mana acceleration but i don't want to do that because you also just play Creatures with haste, yep. creatures with evasion that yeah. steal the initiative back from me, which is okay. I'm the deck built to take the initiative over and over and over again. Yeah, you um, don't have to fight for it because you can just take it. Yeah, which is very cool. So it's a little tough, but yeah. uh, that uh, the hand attack. This deck is pretty susceptible because again, the the acceleration into the payoff mm -hmm. is such that like if the ratio isn't great, drawing the elf late, for example. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think maybe I should have hand attacked a little differently, hmm. but it's... Like the turn two hand attack instead of the turn one hand attack or whatever. It's all about like how you progress your... your yeah, time. maybe I should have taken the bolt, but I guess if I don't know, I'm going to Dread Horde. Uh, it's well, tough. then I, I get tough. like pretty early Goyf beatdowns, though. Like my clock is... Yeah, Goyf is a thing. I have removal in my hand. Sure. And so I'm like, uh, maybe I get rid of the other stuff that I don't want to worry about later when I'm like having to chump block or whatever. But um, that was tough. And well-deserved. Well, thank you very much for the games, friend. Thank you.
And thank you for watching and for tuning in. Reminder, if you want to support us and everything we do here, uh, you can do so through patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Uh, all the support there lets us do this. Uh, and if you like what we are doing here, you can look in the description down below for the deck list or more information on the format. I've been Wheeler. I'll probably continue to be a Wheeler. Serge, thank you for Great to be here. Serge, yeah. Uh-huh. Ben? Hi! <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>